Ginny again with Ginny's Horse Product Review. I just wanted to quickly go over some of my favorite parts of the Green Guard grazing muzzle. Um, if you're familiar with any grazing muzzles, you've probably seen the canvas basket style ones. I'm not a fan of those in really hot weather because I think that even the easy breathe ones can be really hot for horses. So my favorite thing about this is how light and airy it is. You can see that ventilation is not a problem with this muzzle. Uh, Green Guard recommends you do adjust these little straps and then tape them down using a little uh, duct tape and cutting off the excess, which I've already done. In addition to the Green Guard grazing muzzle, I also got the halter they sell. And I've got breakaway halters. I have a ton of halters I could have used that I've used with other muzzles, but I really like the one that Green Guard makes for a number of reasons. First of all, it's pretty lightweight. I don't want my horse to have a lot of weight on its pole while they're out 24-7 wearing a grazing muzzle. I don't think that's good for them. And I'm sure it can be painful and uncomfortable after a little period of time. Also, it's got a padded crown piece. And it also has a padded um, piece on the nose, on the top of the nose part. And I don't have the additional strap on it right now, but you can also do a strap that goes from the top of the nose piece all the way to the crown piece to help keep your muzzle in place if you have a Houdini horse. This is a safety halter. It does have this awesome feature, which is a Velcro breakaway. If your horse were to become entrapped in something, um, you would not be risking some kind of serious injury because this would come off when it needs to. And I haven't found it to come off um, unnecessarily. I've had really good uh, luck keeping this muzzle and halter on my horse in pasture 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And overall, my favorite thing about this muzzle is that it won't leave rub marks on my horse. I've gone through various muzzles that I've used where I've had to put sheepskin on them, duct tape, you name it, I had to modify it and it's still they still left rub marks on my horse where I had to switch them out or put her in a dry lot to make sure that she'd have a break from her muzzle and I did not have that problem with this particular muzzle. I am a huge fan of it. If you're having trouble with keeping weight off your horse this spring or summer, I highly recommend you bite the bullet, get the green guard. I know it's a little more expensive than the Easy Breathe and the Canvas and the Best Friends and all those, but I really do think you get what you pay for when it comes to this muzzle. So if you like this video, if you found this helpful, leave me a comment. If you've got questions about the muzzle, I'm interested in hearing about it. If you have another muzzle that you like, tell me about it in the comments because I want to check that out too. And until next time, happy trails.